अस्सलाम वालेकुम वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑन और एपेक्स डी बगिंग वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट डी बगिंग इन एप्लीकेशन एज अ डेवलपर एंड एज वेल एज यूजिंग पी एल सी कुल डी बगिंग ओके लेट्स प्रोसीड टूवर्ड्स डी बगिंग फाइंडिंग एंड फिक्सिंग एरर्स और बग्स इन द सोर्स कोड और कल एपेक्स इज प्रोवाइडिंग पैकेजेज लाइक एपेक्स एंड स्कोर डी बग एपेक्स एंड स्कोर सेशन we will be using our apex underscore debug in this uh, video for the demo while apex underscore session is just if you want to debug for another user so it's very simple quite straightforward when you open as a developer uh, or run an application at the bottom you will see uh, these options debug with other options as well so in this when you want to do debugging from the front end you will enable it and then uh, there are different levels by default it is closed so this is info level this is app trace this is full trace and after this then you will again disable it and will view debug okay <coughs> in oracle apex uh, apex team has created different levels of uh, debugging uh, debug, debug messages so if you see here this is the level 1 or number 1 critical errors 2 uh, 4 is this uh, which is default when you will enable it without any parameters it will be this one and then 5 is uh, related to procedure packages functions 6 and 8 8 is again engine engine means which is back end processes of oracle apex and 9 so this is the highest level at at this point in time i think uh, oracle apex not yet used uh, level 3 and 7 i think these are still gaps are there maybe tomorrow they will try to use for something uh apex underscore debug package uh it has different procedures so if you see this is the first one is the enable so the first one without any parameter it is by default which will be level 4 it is like this so in this i am passing a parameter to 4 so it is level 4 or i can pass like this as well it depends so all these three commands are same after enabling it uh, apex underscore debug dot log message debug level is equal to 4 i am just giving one Uh, text to show over there and level is equal to 4 right even i can mention level 4 in while uh, logging message in the debug then there is another way which is our apex underscore debug dot error this is um, critical error for the critical error and for this you don't need to enable or disable it will be printed in the log right so i just mentioned over here so this this way you can also uh, create apex underscore debug maybe in the exceptions uh, when others or things like that you can put it this way sql error message and then you can disable apex underscore debug with the same dot disable first one was enable then it is disable uh there is a view uh, apex underscore debug message all debugging messages are logged in this uh, Uh, view or uh, table there will be a table on the back end so this is the view you can access those uh, log messages by passing different parameters application page number message level session id things like that uh at the same time uh, in addition to that package uh, even dbms output dbms underscore output dot put message or uh, dot put line uh, you can also display in the uh, debug log of uh, or a clapex so in this you will first enable it then you will put line and then at the end apex underscore debug dot log dbms dbms underscore output right so this is how you can display dbms output messages uh at the same time you can even let's say for example you are writing uh, some code of uh, html etc so you can even display directly in the browser console which you can access using f12 
key from your keyboard. So uh, let's have some demo demo in addition to this theory and uh, in demo we will uh, see all this uh, practically where I have created a very small application to demonstrate all this concept of debugging. Let's move to the application. This uh, very small application I have created for this demo. So in this I have just uh, added this enable which is to enable the debug and this is to purge for this application any existing data. We, there are different uh, ways to delete this purge based on age or for the application and things like that but I have uh, option to purge the application data the current application which is 27105 and this is for DBMS output so even for DBMS output we have to enable uh, debugging so like this and this purge since uh, this report is not showing any data for this application so I will just uh, uncheck this one and this is for a critical error so first let us try this enable and DBMS output both together and this will be the message printing inside our debug so debug and then we have these levels I have provided over here level 4 uh, uh, is there are different levels 4 7 and 9 so if you see here the view is showing this is the DBMS output this is uh, the log file a, a log log or you can say debug log and this is my debug log message which is coming from this and this is how it is showing now let me show you while debugging over here right if you see here 5048 5048 right it's the same so let me open it and you will see the same messages over here right the same okay okay now if I want to just I will remove this one and I will be removing this one as well let's try with critical error okay so debug here it is showing red that means there is an error so let this report get refresh here it is showing you application ID page ID even you can filter based on these so <coughs> this is my critical error if you see here okay which I have printed critical error right there are some others as well so this is my these two are that old messages which are there this is some um, apex version because there is a critical error maybe due to this it is showing all these information and if I will go to now debug and this it should be over here right this is my debug message the same one which is here right and there is a prefix critical error now let me show you the application um, code so here I created uh, this uh, region where I have all these options nothing special in this and then this is a button and after that I have a process debug and this all these are conditional because I have those uh, uh, options so this is apex underscore debug dot remove debug by app right so here I'm using by app there is another way to uh, remove by age as well so time period maybe uh, <coughs> here I am passing this application uh, ID then second is enable so in enable I am enabling this uh, level and level is my parameter which I am passing over here so if I will pass 4 so it will be 4 and if you see here the log message application dot log message right so this is how I am logging the message where I am passing my parameters and this is my level the same level which I will select on my front end for the DBMS output under uh, uh, DBMS underscore output is equal to Y then uh, here I am enabling it this is my message which is the same message which is a t uh, text item and then log DBMS output right this will log inside apex debug okay uh, 
and here it is going to be disabled then we have critical errors if i am just selecting critical errors then it will have apex underscore debug dot error right so this is critical error for this you don't need to enable or disable this uh, debugging it will uh, be inserted okay so this was the code now let me show you another way if you see here i have just uh, minimized it console.log example uh, this is my another uh, region press f12 and click on console tab of your chrome browser right so for this what i did let me show you that first before going to the browser so this is my browser so here if you see this is my html code in this what i did console.log whatever i will print it will show in the console of your browser and there are different ways to uh, make this uh, like logging variables right and then we have logging objects so even you can say define person is equal to this name age and then person and person right as an object and then we have logging an array so here there is an array and fruits fruits so i will show you how it will get displayed but this is how you can print your uh, console log from here and now let me take you to the log because since it is uh, there in this code so it will be printed over there when we execute it so i'm just pressing f12 from my keyboard right if you see here i have clicked on console if something else is clicked then you have to click on the console and this is how here this is a message name this and this is the object if you click the details of the object right this is how it is and this is my array right uh, 0 1 2 it is getting printed length is 3 it is showing the details right so here you can see your debug messages uh, using console.log right uh, i think you can also right click and view page source but it is right but this is this is showing you the full source code of your uh, page right this is that source code which we just put it over there but again it will not uh, help you in, in, in a way uh, as compared to this console and if there is any other option no f12 again uh, there is one more thing I wanted to show you actually over here. So, if you see here, device, uh, even you can switch different layouts. So, this is my, let me show you, mobile layout, small. So, you can adjust your things accordingly. I just wanted to show uh, since I was here. So, this is full desktop and this is our mobile uh, cell phone uh, layout. So, once you will open this application on your cell phone, it will look like this, okay, like this. So you can scroll or you can move back to your desktop, okay. Uh, I think you can try, you can now find a way, okay, let me just click over here. First, let me purge it as well, enable it as well, this as well, right, critical error, everything, right. So, it is now level 9 if i will make it level 9 there will be more details in the report different steps let it come and let me show you this uh, report sql as well and here it is the um, view name apex underscore debug underscore messages and this is just a parameter i've just filtered it out uh, on application id you can add more parameters as per your requirements right see this one so now this is level 9 right this is how it is showing our messages will be there critical error dbms output apex debug these all are there right and same you can view over here okay 
like this. This is a critical error. And now, <coughs> from the front end, if you want to see anything, let me uh, disable all these. Right at the moment, so disabled. So I'm going to view and let's say info level. Right, click. Uh, there are changes. Okay, no problem. Because there's a confirmation enabled on these uh, boxes. So right. So uh, let me see if it is enabled. Current, see, info is enabled, right? So now anything I will do, any activity over here, let's say, for example, I will disable it, uh, debug to make it 4, and because there is no other activity, I can do it over here. Test, right, this I will disable and enable, right? Because for this, I don't need to enable it over here because now I'm using the application uh, debugging. So let it be there. I just want to see some data over there. Otherwise, I will not enable twice at the same thing. But since this page has nothing else, so I will just refresh it. Okay, now let me go to debug. And now this time I will uh, see this is enabled. And now view log right and it will show you all these details right code and our maximum so here so it will also show if there is any error uh, at which code there was an error so you will find okay so while running this procedure or process there was an error so it will show like this okay these are different uh, fields, right? And error, right? If there's any error, you can see over here. Session, if any detail is there. See, these are session values. Those parameters, which are the level, select list, which was four, enable was y, messages, message was this. See, at the end, there's a test. Then purge was no. Uh, output was no and critical error was y. So even you can see the variables values which were assigned. Okay, PL SQL. This is how it is there. Package and all those were how it was executed. So I think now uh, we covered at least an overview. I will say you can't see the whole things of this. Uh, uh, process or debugging but at least I the purpose of this video was to share an idea or the concept of debugging now uh, you can use the way you want it uh, maybe you can keep it on some page level and you want to enable it so once uh, there is any error you want to enable it but it, it depends uh, how you want to use it <coughs> or how you want to troubleshoot your application right uh, please share your feedback about this uh, video as well or the concept shared mm, was these f and use or helpful for you so at least it will help us to create more videos on different topics right thank you very much general hafiz